The nation in disbelief this morning after the second deadliest elementary school shooting in U.S. history. An 18-year-old man killed at least 19 young children and two teachers who were just two days away from summer vacation. At least one of the victims was nine years old. The gunman was killed by a Border Patrol agent. Cell phone video showing officers with guns rushing to rob elementary in Uvalde, Texas. That is just west of San Antonio. And these are pictures of some of the victims identified so far. The two teachers here, Eva Morales and Irma Garcia, died trying to protect their students. Yeah, so NBC News right now reporting that one officer saw Garcia shielding her students from the gunmen. Families sharing photos as well of their missing loved ones on Facebook, hoping that someone saw them and knew where they are. So others waited outside the school all night, waiting for any bit of information about their whereabouts. Ten-year-old Elijah Cruz Torres didn't want to go to school yesterday, and now she is one of the children missing. Her grandfather was one of the ones waiting outside all night for her. I've been to the hospital and... Uh... All the victims there, you know, uh, they didn't identify my granddaughter. One reporter on the scene says the families were going inside one by one to get swabbed for DNA to help investigators. We're right here, okay? Hey, it's okay. We're right here. Go inside, go inside. Other families thankful to be reunited. Students and parents in tears sharing an embrace after learning they survived. All right, so this shooting reminding us of the tragedies we've seen at schools over the last 30 years. I mean, look at this map here, the deadliest school shooting happening at Virginia Tech. This was back in 2007 when a gunman killed 32 people there. And then five years later after that, a gunman killed 27 people at Sandy Hook Elementary in Connecticut. The deadliest high school shooting happened in Parkland, Florida. That was where 17 people were killed. Uh, that's followed by Columbine High School, that shooting back in 1999. Looking at just this year alone, though, we've had 27 school shootings so far. You can see they're around this map here. Compare that to the entirety of last year. There were just 34. Um, the size of the dots on the map actually represent how deadly the shooting was. Uh, one of those shootings, though, happened pretty close to home. Back in March, a gunman opened fire at Eisenhower High School in Yakima, killing his cousin and injuring another student. Reaction pouring in from leaders across our state. Many lawmakers demanding change, including Governor Inslee, who tweeted, this cannot be what normal looks like in America. Even athletes chiming in. Storm guard Brianna Stewart tweeting, enough is enough. No more gun violence. No more terrorism. This is sickening. And a lot of parents are worried to send their kids to school this morning. And we spoke to State Superintendent Chris Reichdahl about school safety. We're designing our buildings now with different kinds of access points. Lots of districts, of course, have their own local uh, safety officials. We have what's called threat assessment now statewide in all of our regions. When we think there's a student in crisis, um, there are teams that can intervene on a regional basis, community-based mental health providers, law enforcement. We can really move quickly. Another thing that parents are wondering is how exactly to talk to your kids about this. And here's what a professor of pediatrics at the UW recommends. I will do everything. You know, I can to keep you safe and protect you and your teachers and your school and your community will do the same. We feel like you are safe here and we will do everything we can to keep you safe. 